for I only need you every day in my weakness make me so strong you know I'll never I love singing and that's been my main purpose before the accident before the accident I was a very uh, normal um, young mother and wife going to work every day as a veterinarian, a bright future, everything seems to be okay. So the accident happened whenever I was four um, in the kitchen and boiling water spilled on me onto my chest. When I looked at the grill, I noticed that the gauge was going down, the needle was going down. So I immediately ran around to the back and turned it down. When I placed the fire near the portal, I saw the flame go inside of the portal. And as soon as I saw that and that sound, within the blink of an eye, before I could get up, I, the only thing I could do was close my eyes and as I was raising up, the fireball came out and engulfed my entire top part of my body, starting from the waist up. I received my burn injuries um, as a result of explosion of extremely flammable liquid. I was really self-conscious, worried about people staring, calling me names, everything like that. My life after the accident changed dramatically because um, I felt I am in a um, deep, dark hole. I'm about to die. Even I will not die, I disfigured for the rest of my life. Burn patients suffer from problems that involve the skin and its contents, whether it be an injured hand, a badly burned face, or scarring over other areas of the body. Plastic surgeons take care of all these problems. We have experience and training in hand surgery, in peripheral nerve surgery, in facial surgery, in genital reconstruction, in management of wounds and the skin. This is our core competency. We take care of the skin and its contents, but we also introduce innovation as one of our guiding principles. That is, we're always seeking to do things better, to do things more efficiently, and to provide a better outcome for our patients. I had skin grafts uh, taken from my thigh, and they were placed on my arms, both arms, and across my chest. And healing had to also take place uh, over my entire face, head area. But it was all necessary because of the uh, degree of burn that had happened in the destruction of my skin. I encounter a lot of different types of wounds. Of course, there are different types of burns, which can include chemical burns, radiation burns, scald injuries, thermal burns. And so each type of burn may produce a different type of wound in our patients. The gold standard for getting these wounds closed is skin grafting. But we're now using a lot of really innovative biologic materials to help us get these wounds closed. We do have synthetic skin that can be used as a temporary way to close the wounds. Uh, I also use quite a bit of pig skin as well as cadaver skin. And this helps us to stage the patient's acute treatment so that we can safely remove that burn wound, and then get the tissues closed and covered. In 2012, I had minor procedure. After I saw the results, it started to come to me, oh my God, what about if there is something more can be done for me? And at that time, I learned about CO2 laser treatment, and it gave a lot of hope to uh, a lot of burn victims. For many decades, they couldn't do anything about it. And in the beginning, they saw the laser treatment, it will work on just uh, uh, the recent scars. But 
they found it will be working also on the old scars, which was a big, uh, you know, huge event to me, something to hear about. And I started to seek some options about the reconstructive surgeries. Our goal here is to really help the patient improve the pain and the itching that they have developed at the site of these scars from their burn injuries. We use two different types of lasers here primarily. The pulse dye laser, which is vascular, helps seal up these small vessels in the skin and can get the patient off of medication that they are taking for itching. The other type of laser we use primarily is a carbon dioxide laser, which goes deeper into the tissue, remodels the underlying collagen, and can actually release, relieve a lot of the contractures and increase the pliability of the skin tissue itself. All of this combined helps the patient return back to a normal lifestyle, get off of medications that are sedating, and return to work or school. So whenever I was four, the plastic surgeon was there to examine me and make sure that everything was going to grow okay. And then throughout the years, I'd go to checkups to make sure that everything was growing okay. And then whenever I was an adult, we would, I went to plastic surgeon and he ultimately decided in breast reconstruction was the way to go. In addition to focusing on restoring form and function in the present, we think about how these patients are going to do in the future. Scars, for example, change over time. Patients' needs may change over time in terms of school and work. Plastic surgeons are thinking about multiple solutions to a problem. And so the solution that may be good for a patient today may be different than the solution that we'll want to apply for a future goal. So burn reconstruction is challenging in that we have to restore form and function to our patients. And as plastic surgeons, we are constantly looking for new and innovative ways to accomplish that goal more easily and more efficiently so that our patients can get better faster and not only restore their normal function, but improve the aesthetics of their burn scar as well. The idea for injecting fat into a scar for the purpose of trying to help with pain is something that's really come along in the past decade as people are getting more comfortable doing fat crafting. Um, and what plastic surgeons have noticed is that when they inject fat into scars for various reasons, a lot of people were noticing that their pain got better. Um, so there's been a new interest in taking fat from one place in the body and injecting it into a scar um, for the purposes of pain. And that scar could be caused from surgery, trauma, or a burn. Um, so our idea was to focus on the burn patients uh, who commonly have chronic pain after their injuries and try to see if we could help with their pain. After I started to see results um, from the surgeries and uh, the treatment, treatment uh, being applied on me, I just started to feel like more energy in me. I wanted to run faster. I wanted to uh, achieve more. I, even I used to tell Dr. Holtman, I feel like I'm greedy now. And he say, no, you're not greedy. Because I started to seek everything I can do on my personal level or work level. I started to tackle school again, um, focus on my boys more, uh, focus on how I can be happy. Because right now I started to feel there is results and good things come out of this by the end. One of the great things that we love to see here is that because we see our patients so frequently, we get to see them reacclimate. We get to see their progress as they go back to work, as they go to a wedding, as they are able to wear shorts. Simple things like that is what we see and that makes a huge difference to the patient and to us. So I really don't know what's next with my life, but after having the laser treatments and the breast reconstruction, I can go on moving forward with a new found confidence about myself. One of the most rewarding things for me to see as a plastic surgeon is when a patient comes in and he or she says to me, I feel so much better, my life has changed so much, thank you so much for what you've done, and they're very happy. And I always tell my patients, I'm only happy when you're happy. And so when they come in and they give me a big hug, it's the most rewarding thing in the world. And that is why I'm in this field.
all of them, they were so amazing and they were very loving and caring. And I used to tell them, um, thank you from all of my heart because I didn't feel they hugged me physically. I felt they hugged my heart, which I felt one day my heart was really broken. I needed love from people like us, understand what we are going through as burn survivors. The quality of life after the accident, uh, procedures, uh, surgery, is great. I can do things now, but not like I used to, but I can still maintain the things that I need to do in life uh, to take care of my family, friends, and everyone else. And, um, and still, and, and because of this, I'm able to even sing better than I have ever before. I know the Lord. My future, um, I, I owe to the doctors, procedures, and caring, and God. I am grateful for where I am at this point, and I knew it had to be through um, God's graces and all the people that were involved in, in uh, bringing me to this point now. For me.